Hello, welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. Today I'm going to do another cooler compare video where I'm going to take a relatively inexpensive cooler and compare it with the ND stock cooler. Basically seeing if you know it's worth investing the money in a, another cooler that might perform better than the AMD stock cooler and do you get potentially better performance out of it, longevity of the part, etc. So today I'm going to look at the Enemax ETS T40 Fit. This cooler costs around $37, which puts it in the mid-range of the coolers I've looked at so far. So roughly you'd expect it to compete with, say, the Thermaltake Contact 12. So let's find out. Without further ado, let's put it on the test bench. So the cooler itself was a bit of a pain to install. Most of the coolers that I've looked at so far use the AMD retention bracket that comes with all AMD motherboards just to simply clip on. This was not that, it was a lot more of a pain. First of all you had to assemble a back plate with screws that protrude through the motherboard. You can see that you have to put these long screws through, then you have to put washers on to make sure that they stay in place. Once you've assembled that, then you have to put them through the motherboard and the four holes in the motherboard. Then you have to use these longer plastic washers to then basically secure that in place. Then you have to build a frame. Now on that frame, it's got four tiny screws in the corners. So you basically have to screw the four sides of it together. Those screws are tiny, and if you lose one, then you're in trouble. And I nearly did when I assembled it, but lucky I managed to find it. So once you've got that metal frame and you've put that on, then you can finally use a final metal bar to attach the cooler to the motherboard. It's not the easiest cooler to install. But with that mechanism, it gets good contact with the CPU, so hopefully we'll get good temperatures. So let's have a look at the results. So base temp-wise, it got 26 degrees, which is very comparable to the other coolers that we had in the tests we've done so far and it is much better than the AMD stock cooler. Max temp wise it peaked at 54 degrees which is just slightly above most of the other coolers but well below the AMD stock cooler so that's pretty good going. Max boost wise as with all the other coolers um, it managed to hit the 3.9 gigahertz that like all the other coolers have but the key to this cooler is can it maintain that for longer periods to get the better Cinebench score? So let's have a look. Cinebench wise, it scored 2,686, which of the uh, coolers that I've looked at so far is actually the lowest. So obviously it wasn't managed to maintain that boost speed for as long as say some of the other coolers. It's still well better than the AMD Stoke cooler. In a future video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Red Dragon Reaver cooler. It's one of the cheaper coolers that I've looked at so far. Again, I'll be comparing it to the AMD stock cooler and the other ones I've reviewed so far. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on that content.
So based on those results, how does the NMAX cooler compare to the others? Well, it's more expensive than the Contact 12, yet it performed worse than the Contact 12. So that's not a great result. If you add that in to say, you know, the, the installation that I had to go through, um, I'd have a tough job recommending this cooler. Saying that, if you compare it to the AMD stock cooler, it outperforms that cooler by a country mile. So could you say that it's a better cooler than that? Oh, absolutely. Is it worth spending the money to buy this cooler instead of the AMD stock cooler? You could argue so, but based on the results we've seen, you could say that there are better coolers out there. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you found the information in it useful. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and please like the video. It always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get uh, notified of future content. And as always, take care.